Hey everyone, George from Elite Motor Cars. Today we have in front of us this beautiful 1993 BMW 325i sedan. Finished in a beautiful garnet red with light gray leather interior. This is just a really, really cool classic BMW. I still can't believe a 1993 automobile is 30 years old. It is totally crazy how fast time goes by. This is a one owner car. Somebody really, really took nice care of this car. This is an all original example. I don't think it's ever had any paint work. It looks absolutely, totally stock, untouched, awesome car. Even the alloy wheels are in great condition, as you can see. Super, super cool car. Very, very nice. Even the BMW emblems are nice and bright, especially on the hood as well. Somebody forgot to order a tailgate for this car. I won't mention any names, but I do have one coming and it should be in the next couple days. What I'm guessing happened here was somebody probably backed into the car at one point or something minor, but it does have that deck right there in the deck hood, as you can see. The alley was very nice. This one's very nice as well. Tires, I would say, fronts are marginal. I would say 20% maybe. And the rears look to have about 50% there. Headlights are in great condition, especially for 1993. These are in better condition than most of the newer, car, newer cars on the road. Has the fog lights as well. Traditional BMW grill, beautiful ornament there as well. And as always, guys, please take a second to like and subscribe below. We'd really, really appreciate it. Also, be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, Elite Motor Cars, Peabody, Massachusetts. And thank you to all our subscribers for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Now, this car has a very nice exterior. The paint is bright. It shines well. It's not perfect. It could probably use a, what they call today, a really good paint correction. What I call back years ago, a nice compound. But the paint overall is in really nice condition on the car, as you can see. It's nice and bright and shiny. It does have a couple of spots that could use some compound. A little mark right there. But if you look at the rockers, look how solid everything is. It's beautiful. These cars were rusting out when they were 10 years old. This one was just really, really well kept. So you can see the paint does need a compound, especially right there. Very nice car. Has the factory moonroof as well. And one of those wonderful New England days. We did get a little bit of snow. Most of it's gone, except for where they plowed it into piles, but most of it's gone. It's a nice warm um, January day, about 45 degrees. So can't complain today. Up in her. Look how beautiful the wood trim is here. Beautiful. I wonder if this was an option on this car. I'm not certain, but it's beautiful. And I love the two-tone of that door panel. It's absolutely beautiful. Now it does have the owner's manual. It's got the just one of the original keys right there, as you can see. And it does have, we'll get into the trunk, but it does have the original floor mats as well. Start up for you guys here. So, now if you notice, this is not laying up, it's not working at the moment. Um, I'm not an expert on BMWs, I love them, I buy a bunch of them. Um, I did a little bit of homework on it, um, I checked all the fuses, everything seems to be checking out. I guess these clusters are known for having issues. Um, I've just been so busy with so many projects. I have not had time to send this one out to get it repaired. So I'm going to leave that to the next owner. They can take care of that and get it all set. The car does, if you look at Carfax, it shows the last recorded miles as 111.111. I don't think that's correct because if you look at Carfax for July 
of 21, it shows the car is having 69,000 in change of miles. July of 2020, it shows 67,000 miles. So my guesstimate on this car is this car probably has around 75 to 77,000 miles on the high end. So my real guess on this car is probably it's got 72 to 73,000 original miles. But just like to be honest with everybody, it does show that last recorded miles, but I think that the cluster was probably out and whoever did the service on the car just entered a bunch of ones really quickly just to put it in for the repair on it. So that's my two cents on it. So my opinion is the car has around 73,000 miles. That all works good there. Heat works nice. I've not tried the heated seat, but I'll try it now. The radio, I gotta find a code for it. It's probably the owner's manual, I've got to do it. The screen's a little bit um, distorted right there. So it might need um, LCD repair or a replacement. Um, the car actually runs really nice, goes well, shifts perfect. It's got the beautiful um, straight six, um, v, I don't know what to call it, V6, straight six um, BMW motor. And um, she just runs nice, she goes well. It's just a nice running car. It really is, I like it. I think these are cool, these Beamers. Definitely love my Cadillacs, but I think these are cool. This is definitely a perfect car for somebody that wants to keep it as kind of like a, a classic. I would hope that this car will not be used for daily use. I think it's too nice. I think it should definitely be preserved. This is a perfect car for like that BMW enthusiast that's out there that wants one. This one will be very affordable. It's not gonna break the bank and you can enjoy it and tinker with it a little bit. Doesn't need a whole lot of tinkering, but just a minor odds and ends. But oh no, it's just a super cool car. Hey, look how cool everything is. I've never opened a moonroof. Let's see if it works here, guys. It does. Awesome. Close it up. It does vent as it's supposed to. Hit this one again. There it goes. Down. Now, as you can see, the sunshade. Somebody put some wonderful tape there. I did not do that. Not my thing. So you probably have to have the uh, sunshade done over if you decide to do it. Me personally, actually, yeah, you can't push it back. So it's got this right here. So it probably needs to be. This probably needs to be done over and gone through. Otherwise, the headline is in very nice condition, except for right there. Looks like it's coming down just a touch right there. Otherwise, the headline looks like it's in very nice condition. Let's hop out of it. Let's open the hood here for you guys. These older BMWs have the hood latch right there. And the new ones have it come out of the grill. So there she is. A super clean engine compartment. Even the bolts are nice. They still have some of the anodizing on them. That's a tough word to pronounce. Very clean car. Runs beautiful. Very clean. Get a good look at the passenger side here. My apologies for the crazy sun this time of year. Just a beautiful car, it really is. Very, very nice car. Very nice car. Good mark right there. We try to show you guys some of the little marks on it. I show you guys that earlier. It does have two little marks right there, as you can see. A little mark right there. Not being a nip picker. This looks like it's in nice condition. So just a tiny mark right there, which will probably come out with some compound, as well as right there. Doors in beautiful condition. This door's in beautiful condition as well. Bumper's in really nice condition. All the trim is really nice in the car as well. 
really, really nice example. Roof's in very nice condition, as you can see. Let me show you guys the interior. The interior is in really nice condition. No rips or tears any place. The rugs are very nice in this car. Steering wheel is in really nice condition. It shows some very minor wear, but very nice condition as well. Dashes are in super condition. It does have the power seats. Seats are in nice condition. It shows a little bit of wear on that bolster right there, as you can see. But the armrest is very nice as well. This has, has the, um, does not have climate control, but the regular heat and AC there. It does have the heated seats. Another cool feature, power mirrors. Door panels in beautiful condition. The seat shows very, very nicely. I love light, light interiors, they're beautiful. Your door panel very nice as well. Very, very nice. Look at the contrast, beautiful. That wood is gorgeous. You guys could tell me, I'm not positive. Was this wood trim package an option on this car? If it is, or if you guys know a little more about it, please mention it below in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Very nice as well. Very nice. A little bit of wear there, minor. It does have the power seat on this side as well. A little bit of wear right there. But overall, an awesome car, it really is. Look at how cool that car is. Love it. I really, really hope this car finds the perfect owner that will love and cherish it. Because it's an awesome car and it definitely deserves that. Before I forget to show you guys the trunk, I almost forgot about that. Those are the original floor mats, as you can see. It's got the tool kit up here, if I'm correct. Take a look here for a second. And it does, look at that. All the little tools there, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Bring that back up. So, very, very cool. such a cool car beautiful automobile the color the combination the condition one owner it's just an awesome awesome car it really is I probably will not have another 3 series in this condition of this age and if ever if five years down the road who knows but this is a very very nice example you really don't see them this off that often anymore they just kind of just got beat up kids owned them back then they were beat up they were blown up they were junk so this is a really really nice one it's a one owner example um, it does need a bit of tinker just minor stuff as i mentioned this one's going to be super duper affordable we are going to be asking 39.95 for this beautiful classic bmw sedan my name is George and welcome to give me a call. My direct line is 978-590-0014. Thank you for watching my video and have a great day.